Hey everyone, um, today we're going to do a hair jig, it's called, I call it, the bug. Um, it's a really good pattern, uh, you can use uh, the colors I'm going to use today to imitate crayfish or something on the bottom, or you can use um, green pumpkins, colors like that, and represent a goby. Uh, and swim it. Well, in the vise, we got a 1 8 ounce ball head jig, uh, 1 aught Matsuo sickle hook, uh, and you see I cut a groove out here on the collar, and that's only because I don't want my thread to slip down. We're going to use 210 denier uh, Danville flat wax nylon, and uh, we're going to get started here. couple reps okay what we're gonna use for this and this one is some brown bucktail some orange bucktail flashaboo this is different than the crystal flash. It's a little wider. And some uh, deer hair. This is uh, the body hair, and it's on a piece of skin there, leather, if you will. Okay, now that we got a couple of wraps, I'm going to start this one with my orange bucktail. Now I want this one and a half times about an inch, inch and a half past the bend of the hook for the tail part of it. That's close. It's about right. And I'm going to trim that. couple loose wraps so I can distribute this hair all the way around. And that's close. So you can see pretty much all the way around. Just perfect. Now we're gonna take our brown bucktail. Now the brown bucktail is going to be much shorter. We want this to be right at the back end of the hook and so we have some of this orange sticking out and like I said earlier you can use different colors depending on what you want to do. This is uh, standard crayfish colors for the river I fish for smallmouth. couple loose wraps now this one I only had a little bit of hair there so I'm gonna have to go and put another bunch underneath I've already cut some up uh, to save some time and I used what I tied in to gauge Trim. I'll tie that on the back end. Yeah, you don't want it real thick. Just There, we got pretty good coverage all the way around. So now that I have that, I'm going to take my flashable, just one strand, 
and we only want one strand on each side. This has a good bit of flash and uh, don't want to overdo it. What I like to do with this pattern is tie it in on one side and then fold it over again just almost the same way as with regular crystal flash it makes it tougher you won't pull it out and here's the neat part of this put in a few securing wraps here now we're gonna take this Dear body hair that we have, and we all, I already cut it up. And you want to take a pinch about as thick as a pencil, um, and you're going to lay it. You want this to go right where the, your second color went, right by the end of the hook, maybe uh, maybe just a little bit shorter, dead center. And you want to let your hair up over the top of the head because the body hair is going to flare. Just like that. And make sure to. Now that's where the bug comes in. Now what we're going to do is make a few wraps to tighten that up. And again, you can go, when you tie with this stuff, you want to move your bobbin back and forth to get it in between so you don't flatten all the, the fibers down because you want them fibers to stick up. And there we go make sure we're centered and that is it now I'm gonna whip finish it now this is gonna be a little different because I'm not gonna go around the collar I'm gonna go in between there takes a little bit of practice but and it's a little harder Like to do it twice. Six wraps on each one. I, that's you can also do half hitches. That's good. Now, the head cement. Take the head cement and on the back here we can apply it with the brush as normal. But then I want to get some head cement around here so what I'll do is I'll take my bodkin and I'll dip it in the head cement I'll pull that hair back and go around. Now we are done. It was just that simple. Wait till we get this out of here so you can see us. That is the bug. You can see how that sits in my hand. It sits nice up and it's it's kind of ugly looking, but it works really, really well. Um, give it a try and uh, if you happen to get stuck or you use it yet, do good with it. Let me know. Thanks for watching and catch you later.